Hello, internets. Ordinarily, I would start these videos by saying good morning, and I would smile, but I don't feel like it's a good morning. And ordinarily, I would start my morning vlog by giving you guys some statistics about the weather in Las Vegas and about the range on uh, my Volt, and we would start to talk about something related to cars or something funny that I encountered in car culture or um, I tell a joke or maybe Elon Musk did something new and outrageous and hilarious and that's what we would be talking about today. Um, if that's what you're here for, I promise I will get back to that sort of content um, in the next couple of days. But today, I don't feel happy and I don't feel like smiling and I am upset. And um, uh, <laughs> when I have a bad day, um, I normally don't like to share it unless it's car related and I like to keep this my happy car place. Um, but I don't I don't feel happy today, but I also don't feel like being silent. Um, so uh, if you want to tune out now, I respect that. And I ask that you um, come back in the next couple of days when everything's back to uh, cars and smiles. And I promise we'll get back to that. But today I need to give a little bit of time to something that's heavy on my heart. And uh, that is the shooting in Florida. Um, this is the 17th or 18th school shooting so far in 2018. Um, by this time last year, we we're up to nine. So we've around doubled that in the same amount of time this year. Um, for those of you who don't know what I do, I'm a teacher. And the idea that I am living in a country and have children and a grandchild in a country where kids don't know when they show up to school whether or not they're going to be shot where teachers don't know when they show up to work to educate young people whether or not they're going to be shot that's um that's not okay and ordinarily when something like this happens and unfortunately i have to describe it in those terms Ordinarily, when something like this happens, um, I would be quiet about it and not talk about it. And the reason for that is um, that for some reason, when you say, isn't it messed up that when kids go to school, they don't know whether or not they're going to be shot? That's a political statement and people want to have a political argument with you. It is not political to say that kids deserve to be able to go to school without getting shot. That's not something political to say. Um... That is neither right or left. That is neither liberal nor conservative. Children being murdered while trying to obtain a public education is bad. It is bad whether or not you are a conservative or a liberal. It does not matter what your political leanings are. It does not matter if you are Christian, Muslim, atheist, or believe in the giant flying spaghetti monster. It does not matter. I feel that it is something that we could all agree on that murdering children is bad. And I don't know why it is for some reason taboo to discuss something like that. And I wasn't going to make this video today. What I was gonna do is I was gonna get in my car and probably cry all the way to work, no matter what. Which is what I do when stuff like this happens. If you're personally unaffected and you don't feel the way I do today, that is okay. And I don't blame you at all. Um, everybody has their own reactions to things and everybody deals with things in the way that they must um, and in the way that comes natural to them. And this is what comes natural to me. But this is, this is more than just a thing that happened on the other side of the country that I live in. This hits me at home. I got kids in school. I got a granddaughter who's not yet in school. And the depth and degree of my fear it's crippling. How do I keep her safe?
explain it to me. She just turned two. Statistically, every year, the number of school shootings that we have goes up. The number of casualties that we have due to gun violence rises. It goes up. I'm a teacher. I teach math. I teach all subjects. I'm not a single subject teacher, but among the things I teach is math. And one of the things about math is that it is concrete and does not lie. So, if for the last 10 years, the number of casualties that we have in America due to gun violence rises, and the number of school shootings we have every year rises, the number of children we have going to school and getting murdered every year rises, then statistically, by the time my granddaughter enters kindergarten, her likelihood of being shot at school will be higher than it is today. Or than it is for children who are presently in school today. Explain to me why that is okay. I live in the state of Nevada. I live in the wild, wild west. Um, we still have cowboys here. Real ones with like hats and horses and guns and spurs and the whole thing. Guns in the city of Las Vegas are a tourist attraction. If you've never been here, um, then you don't know. But if you come to Las Vegas, um, you'll be bombarded by advertisements in the airport. And one of the very, very, very first things that you will see at the airport is an advertisement for a thing called the gun store. And they have all of these really cool looking ads with hot ladies shooting automatic weapons saying, come fire an automatic weapon. You can shoot an Uzi. You can shoot an AK. Come on in. There's no reason you shouldn't be able to go do that. None. None whatsoever. It's totally legal. They make a lot of money. Uh, they attract a lot of tourist dollars. There's billboards all the way from the border of California all the way on the drive into Nevada. If you come in on the highway saying, come to the gun store and a lot of other different gun places. Um, the gun store on Tropicana spends the most money and is, seems to be the most well known. But there's other ones and it's just guns, 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 guns all the time out here. And um, I was raised by firearms enthusiasts. And I've owned my share of guns too. Um, both for home protection and for the sport of marksmanship. And uh, I know how to operate one. I'm not afraid of a gun. A gun is a tool. So before anybody gets their panties in a bunch thinking that I'm just an angry, upset, liberal snowflake or whatever the hell assholes like to call me because they do for some reason because I drive an electric car, slow your damn roll. I understand the Second Amendment. I understand what it is that people want and what it is that people are afraid of. I understand why people would want a firearm. It's freaking crazy out there, guys. I understand wanting to protect your home and own a gun. I don't have a problem with guns. What I do have a problem with is that people who are known to be mentally unstable and who are in serious need of help can go and legally purchase a semi-automatic rifle, which can then very easily be made into a fully, mod fully automatic rifle. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with the fact that we live in a country where our healthcare system is in such horrible shambles that people who are mentally disturbed and in need of mental help will more often be ignored or end up homeless, end up jobless, be marginalized and uncared for. That we're willing to sell them guns, but not willing to give them help. I don't know the state of mind that makes a person do what they did. I'd like to remind you that I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. And on the 1st of October of 2017, my town, my city, where I live, where my children sleep at night, where they go to school, where they work, was home to the deadliest mass shooting in American history. There were people who were dear to me who were there.
this is something that affects everybody and bullets don't care who you voted for they don't they don't give a single damn ask all the people at that country music show that got mowed down bullets don't care um I don't really know where I'm going with this, but I just don't understand how come every time there's a shooting and someone feels something about it, every time there's dead kids because of, I don't know why. There's not like, because of what? There's no end to that sentence. I started the sentence, I have no end for it. Because of why? What could possibly be the reason? And I guess we had a disturbed young man, in this case, for Florida, who was 19 years old, who said in public, I'm going to shoot up the school, who made comments on YouTube, whose peers said, and this was all over the news this morning, They're, they put a camera in the face of a kid who went to school with him. We all joked about it. We said if anybody was going to shoot up to school, it was going to be him. And it turned out that we all predicted it and nobody listened. Like, that's what this young man said on the news this morning. If we had, if there was a community of people who had prior knowledge that this was a disturbed individual, and we have no privacy from the government, if they're going to read all of our emails and listen to all of our phone calls and read all of our text messages, okay. I was really, really, really damn upset when that came up in the last administration, and I, I'm still upset about it, but, like, everybody was like, oh, you can't do that, and the government was like, all right, yeah, but we already are, and we're going to keep doing it, and then it just went away, and it's just been an accepted fact about American life. You don't have privacy from your own government anymore, and if that's what it is, if that's what it takes to live in America and be an American, then I can accept that. I'm a right-thinking individual who doesn't, I don't wish to cause harm to anybody. There's nothing going on in my life where I'm worried about the government reading about it. Have at. Um, but if that's going to be the dystopian future we live in with this big brother complex of machines keeping track of everything all the time, and we all have to accept that, then what is the benefit? What are we trading for that? Um, we've traded away that, that freedom of privacy or at least the illusion of it if we ever had it in the first place. So if everybody is being monitored, then how come somebody who says over and over and over again, I want to kill a lot of people, I'm going to shoot up the school, is allowed to spend $2,000 on an AR? Why? Is it really, is it really so controversial for me to say, maybe that guy shouldn't be allowed to buy an automatic weapon? Like, what if we just draw the line there? Now, the NRA will say, that is a slippery slope. But if you start doing that, you're going to start taking away all kinds of guns. And then, you know, super hardcore conservatives say, they want to take our guns and they want to take our gun. And usually they'll throw the word Obama in there. Like, Obama wants it. Nobody wants to take your guns. First of all, nobody wants to take your guns. Guns have not gotten harder to get. They've only gotten easier to get. During the Obama administration, guns got easier to get. Go look up the legislation. It was a thing that seriously pissed me off. It, guns only became easier to get. They did not close the gun show loophole. I live in the gun show capital of the West. Like, good Lord. They, <sighs> they have entire convention centers here, big ones, filled with the gun show. There's the great gun show of the West. It's what it's called. It's every year. And they fill this massive convention center full of people. And you could go buy guns for cash money on the spot without a background check. That happened here. That happened in Las Vegas. You could buy those guns here. And the one October shooting didn't change that. It, uh, people say, okay, can we talk about gun control now? And the gun lobbyists say, oh, now it's not the right time. I think it's the perfect goddamn time. When's a better time? How many more kids have to get shot? How many more of members of my community have to get mowed down by a psychotic tourist? What else has to happen? Who else has to die? It's not a political statement 
to say the kids should be able to go to school without getting shot. It's not a political statement. It is neither liberal nor conservative for me to say, I want my grandbaby to be able to start kindergarten and not worry about somebody shooting up her classroom. I want, I don't, I don't want to send her away to school every day with the fear that something horrific could happen to her or in front of her. And here's where I get really angry because this isn't, I just wasn't going to make a video today. I was just going to try to have some quiet time in the car and not think about it too much. It was going to be what I was going to do. But clearing out my notifications and uh, somebody on Twitter somehow comes across and um, says that gun-free zones are ruining America and this school being a gun-free zone is why all those people are dead and more people need guns and the teachers should have been carrying guns and this is their fault. First of all, that school was not gun-free. There were armed school police there. Okay? More guns has never made for less fatalities. Ever. I would love it if they did. Guns are super neat. I would love it if everybody had a gun means that everybody really was safe. I would love it if it meant that, but that's not what that means. That's not what that means. There are idiots who will say the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Okay, sure. In my mind, the good guys with the guns are supposed to be the police. And we know that they're the good guys with the guns because they wear badges and uniforms. There is nothing to, dis to distinguish you in my eyes from the bad guy with the gun or the good guy with the gun if you're not wearing a badge. And you, how do I know what side you're on if you're shooting things, if you're shooting people? And the idea that this could somehow be prevented if all of the teachers were carrying guns is absurd. idea that it's somehow incumbent upon me as a teacher to carry a weapon in order to protect my students it... I man you guys I just don't know I don't know I don't get that I don't get that attitude I think it's a lazy attitude because changing legislation is difficult it's difficult. It requires a lot of cooperation from a lot of people. It's a long fight. It costs a lot of money to change legislation because of all of the crap lobbies who want to stand up against you, particularly the NRA. And by the way, guys, by the way, you can own guns and like guns and still hate the NRA. It's perfectly fine. Um, they are a total shit organization uh, whose only motiva motivation is to make money uh, for gun manufacturers. That's that's what the NRA is. Um, I it, it just it just is. And I have owned guns and um, you know, lots of them and fired my fair share of weapons. Lots of them. Um, my dad made sure I knew how to field strip maintained and reassemble a rifle by the time I was 12 years old. I don't have a problem with guns. I'm not afraid of guns. I'm not, uh, I'm not what I might appear to be. And, uh, I wouldn't go judging people based on appearances. But people who we know are mentally unstable should be able to buy automatic rifles. People say, oh, well, it's for hunting. If you need an automatic rifle to hunt deer, it's because you're a pussy. I've been hunting. Uh, you don't need an automatic rifle to kill game. You don't. Uh, a regular bolt action, bolt action rifle will do just fine. And um, if you can't get it done in one or two shots, you probably really have no business doing it. Other people will say, 
You know, I've heard the argument of, well, I own a whole bunch of automatic weapons. I like to go out into the desert and squeeze off a few thousand rounds with my buddies because it's fun. We like to blow shit up. Okay, as intellectually stimulating as that sounds, um, and, and it does sound deeply fascinating, you and all of your friends are so very interesting. Um, is your right to go drink beer and blow shit up in the desert more important than the right of my granddaughter to go to school without getting shot? Is it more important than that? Like, if you really value that above the right of children to obtain an education without being murdered, then, okay, I mean, that's a different conversation that we have to have. But I want to hear you say it. That's what I want to hear. I don't want to hear this bullshit. Oh, it's a slippery slope. We're not going to talk about it. No, no, no. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say that you want to be able to own automatic weapons because you think they're cool and they make you feel powerful and good and so you're gonna give everybody else access to them too because you like them and you're gonna raise the probability you're okay with those laws in place because you can have your fun and you can own all the weapons you want say it just say it. The next time you have that argument with somebody and you want to defend why everybody gets to have automatic weapons, say that your enthusiasm for them is more important than the right of children to go to school without getting shot up. Just say that. Because that's what you mean. You want to have your cake and eat it too. And it doesn't it doesn't work like that. Um, and the kind of weapons that people are doing these mass shootings with these automatic rifles they don't serve a purpose beyond killing as many people as possible as quickly as possible that's what they're for that's literally what they are designed for these are weapons of war and they have no business in the hands of civilians domestically the only people around to shoot are your fellow americans therefore should you really be having access unfettered access, unlimited and unfettered access to a weapon that's just for killing as many members of your community as possible as quickly as possible. What the hell do you need that for? You don't. I'm angry. And you should be too. And I don't know what the answer is. I don't know what there is to do about it. I don't. My city, everywhere I go, everywhere I look, is covered in stickers that say hashtag fake is strong and uh the way that started out was somebody made the vegas strong thing it's not even original there's boston strong or orlando strong everybody's strong because everybody's getting shot so anyway somebody makes a whole bunch of these stickers and puts them up on the internet and uh says you know they're five bucks a piece and this is all gonna go to the las vegas victims fund this happened in October. It is now February 15th right now as I'm making this video. And um, I see them everywhere. And um, they're not all the same. There's Vegas Strong stickers with hearts. And there's Vegas Strong stickers with the skyline. And there's Vegas Strong stickers with our Ferris wheel. And there's Vegas Strong stickers with the Las Vegas sign. It says Vegas Strong in it. And there's just hashtag Vegas Strong in block letters. These are not all being produced by the same person. Um, I have no way of knowing which ones were actually produced um, to raise money for the Las Vegas Victims Fund. But it doesn't take a genius to maybe guess that um, <laughs> at that point it just becomes a marketing gimmick and something that people can do for profit. Vegas Strong t-shirts, Vegas Strong everything. And they're selling like mad, man. They're still selling like hotcakes. Um. It's just, it's just this thing that we could rally around. It's just, I don't know, man. It was amazing to see a community of transients um, come together the way my city did. And to see that many people cooperating and working together with so many wounded and dead. But... They weren't even done counting the bodies yet before there were assholes all over the internet saying, oh, don't blame the guns, don't blame the guns, don't blame the guns. Why? He could have just as easily killed a bunch of people with a knife. 
that's pretty hard to kill over 50 and wound over 100 people with a knife. You'd be hard pressed to do it with two of them. <sighs> Pull over to wrap this up. That's what I'm going to do. I know this has been a long video and I know it's been a rant and I know it's been emotional and I know I've just been mad and I've just been asking questions and not posing answers. Um, but that's honestly how I'm feeling today. I'm upset and I'm angry and um, there's no set of circumstances that excuse this and there's no liberty so precious that it's worth this and I mean there are certain things that I think are worth dying for this is not one of them our right as Americans to own psychotic weaponry and to stockpile ammunition is a novelty at best anymore I don't think that no one should have guns. I just think that none of us need those guns. And I don't think that's really that much of a stretch. So considering the kind of hate mail I get when I occasionally make fun of um, a Camaro, I imagine the hate mail I'm going to get today is pretty impressive. But um, okay. People who are going to send hate mail are going to send it anyway. Um, for those of you who have been watching these 70 some odd videos, um, since October, since I started making them, I really appreciate your time. Um, I really appreciate, uh, the amount of time you guys spend, um, engaging me in thoughtful conversation and bringing me information that I didn't have before. I appreciate this group of people that, um, started out as wandering strangers in the digital universe who have congregated in the comment section on these videos to, um, brighten each other's days and to say nice things. And, um, it's made a big difference for me, uh, to say that I experience stress on a daily basis, uh, is a massive understatement. And the, we all have different ways that we cope and everybody's life is hard and everybody's life is stressful. And, um, just the time that I spend in my commute is pretty much the only time I really have to, to myself, um, which is why nothing is ever edited and they're all one take because that's just, that's the time that I have. And, um, you guys have taken that time that I have that I feel like rambling about cars cause that's what I'm interested in and made it something so positive and happy and, and wonderful and beautiful. And I'd like to see it grow. Um, and I'd like to see it grow in a positive way with positive subject matter and positive things to talk about. And I like being a positive person. Um, I really do. It's, uh, it is my nature to make the best of things and it is in my nature to make light of things and it is in my nature to be funny and to be fun. Um, those are fundamental truths about me, I feel. And I will get back to those things as soon as I can. But today I'm upset. And I didn't feel like being silent, but I also didn't feel like pretending I wasn't. Um, and if you disagree with any of the things I've said, um, I emphatically believe in your right to disagree. Um, and to say whatever it is you want to say to me about it, because I believe in the First Amendment. Um, I do. With all my heart and soul. But... Um, Guys, this isn't okay, and it needs to be okay to say that it's not okay. Um, I don't really have too much more to say than that. I think that's about it today. Um, I keep trying to think of a way to close this out, and there's there's no closure here, so there's not going to be any, but... Um, I love everybody a whole lot. I do. When you get home today, hug your babies. 
and uh, try to think about what we're going to tell them in a couple of years about what we did about stuff like this. And if you don't have an answer, then maybe we should work on one. Try to have a good day, everybody.